So I'm going to help you launch it to begin with. Okay. Just because, so to launch the kite, I'll talk you through it, but I'll, I'll, I'll do it, but I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, yeah. So whenever the kite's low like this, the key is we want to far away because it's it's at its most vulnerable to stalling when it's down low at nine and three. Oh, okay so the reason it'll stall is if i pull the whole bar and i put tension on the back of the kite mm -hmm. i'm only i'm trying to get tension on this one because that's the one i'm steering right it's also far more about keeping the tension out of the other side of the line. okay so what i do this is the only time i do this is i grab the line here uh -huh. rather than grabbing two hands on the bar and i'm just putting a little bit of tension on this line just a tiny bit to encourage it up oh, okay and then once it's up at 12 i can get two hands on the bar which you can do now two hands on the bar that's it so we're just trying to kind of more or less keep it at 12. try and keep your elbows in arms relaxed remember you're you're, you're not holding the power of the kite in your hands uh-huh in your arms all the power is through your harness okay so try and keep your arms you can, you can grip the handle but we're not, we're not holding the power of the kite. Uh -huh. Follow the kite, so turn your, always turn your chest to the kite. Oh. Right, just, 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 okay. So that's fine, that's all that happened is it just, you know, it was because we're trying to steer the kite uh -huh. too far away. So I have to watch it again. You see it just needs to turn a little bit of tension. Uh-huh. Just to encourage it up. Okay, so get two hands on the bar again. The kite's yours. So just trying to keep it at 12. Remember, pull the bar for a little to find that biting point, and then we've got more steering. And we're pushing oh, and pulling I see. steering. So pull, pull, steer, release. That's kind of thing that in your head. Pull the bar, steer the kite, release the bar. Pull the bar, steer the kite, release the bar. Okay. That's kind of the, the sequence, at least for now. So it's pretty stable up there, pretty happy. Yeah. And it's not moving it, as you say, 11 to 1. We're only really, that's it, we've got, it's, it's, there's a bit of a delay in the response. So we, we want to steer in short burst. As soon as the kite's responded, we release the bar. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. So it's just, it's, yeah, it's all making sense. It's, it's just, um, you know, kind of, kind of get it, get yeah. it automatic and like understand. It's all about tension. It's yeah. About the line tension and angle of attack and airflow. So we're just kind of playing with the controls, steering the bar, pulling the bar, steering the bar, pulling the bar. So let's try and start bringing it a little bit lower. Okay. So all we're doing is we're letting it drift and then we're catching it by pulling tension. As it's kind of coming back up, we can start to release the bar. We still want to keep a little bit of steering. Once it's got momentum, we don't really want to it. Uh -huh. See how it sort of it accelerates yeah. exponentially if you hold the tension too close. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Momentum's going now, you can just leave it all the way until we want to stop it. Oh, yeah. There's no real right or wrong, but it just, it, you know, if, if it powers up quite quick, you yeah. can rip out your fingers. So oh, okay. if you want to grip the bar, but we're not squeezing it, it's just feel, feel the pull through your harness. Uh -huh. Remember the harness, your body's taking the weight of the kite. Okay. So it's kind of, it's just keep uh, your arms relaxed. And the more power the kite has, it's pulling through your harness. Oh, okay. You start grabbing the bar with 